Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to check out my Instagram listed down below. I post lots of great tutorials over there and fun stuff in my stories. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a really fun little embellishment. This is done with HTV and felt, and I've had a lot of you ask me how to do this for Mickey ears, but this could really be used on a lot of different things, including things like t-shirts and cards and stuff like that. You could really take this information that you're going to learn on how to do this and really apply it to a lot of different techniques. So let's get started. I can't wait to show you how to do this. Whatever we would do, we do it just for fun. I'm going to show you in Design Space how to make this for whatever you're going to do, but it's really easy to make your own layered SVG just using a coloring page. So this will go quick because I do have a full long tutorial that I'll link down below for you guys. But what I'm going to do is click upload image and then I'm going to find the image that I want to put in here. So I believe the one that I want to use is under Disney coloring pages. Nope, it's not. Um, so what I'm going to do is go into my Disney folder and find the image that I want to use, which the one I have is an Eeyore. And he's really easy to work with, so we're going to use this one. So I'm going to change it to complex and click continue. I want to choose my advanced options, and I'm going to go to 100 for color tolerance. And then you want to erase all of your white spaces. Don't forget the little pieces of his foot and then the little dots in his eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom way in so I can click on the little dots in his eyes. And then we do have some words down here, so we'll go ahead and erase those really quick just using the eraser tool. Again, I have a shorter, a longer, more detailed video of this, so don't worry. I'll link it below. So what you're going to do is save them as a cut image and click upload or insert. We're going to insert our image. And this is where we're going to start using contours. So what you want to do is duplicate him, then go to the word contour. And what we need to do is first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of the spaces. So all the blank spots. So you just want to make sure everything is kind of this light gray color. Do you see how everything's kind of turning like a lighter gray? This is a little bit hard to see. And what you can always just do for this part is just click hide all contours. That's going to give us our solid outline. You could make an offset as well, but for me, I just wanted to do it that way to show you kind of how to use um, contour really quick. So now what we're going to do is click contour again, and we're going to pick all the pieces that are supposed to be blue on Eeyore and make sure those stay. So you want to get rid of his hair and you want to get rid of his little ear inserts, and then we need to actually get rid of his outline. So by doing that, I click on the outside over here and that should get rid of it. Now, if you're ever questioning like where you're at as you're going, just go ahead and close your contour and you can kind of check where you're at. So what I need to do is I actually want to get rid of this piece of his nose as well. That's going to be a different color blue. And when you do that, you want to make sure you also click these little inner pieces so that those also disappear. So we've got his little foot and all this stuff is going to remain see-through. So what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and change him to blue. Now I did forget to duplicate him, but that's okay because we can just duplicate this little guy and work off of him. So what I'm going to do is see how he goes behind him. I want him to go in front just so I can kind of keep track of the colors and what I'm working on. It just makes it a little easier for me to see what I'm doing. So we'll start with this guy and we'll go ahead and use contour and just kind of fix it up from this. So again, we don't want any of the outline, but now we can get rid of all the blue parts. We just click on all the stuff that's supposed to be blue. So what you'll see now is I need to keep the inside of his ears, but you're going to need to click on his eyes and his little spots on his face or those are going to show up. So you just want to make sure that all of those are clicked away. And again, you can just close this and check where you're at. See how you've still got the insides of his eyes here or the outsides of his eyes. Go ahead and go back in and just click on those. Now you may need to move around a little bit to get those to highlight correctly, but once they've highlighted correctly, they'll go away. But again, see how it gives you these little dots? I missed those. So I gotta go back in and just get rid of those. Once you've played with this a couple times, it's really, really easy. So this part's gonna be kind of pink because those are his ears. Let's tuck those right in. I'm going to actually move those up so they're at the top. It's easier to move them. And then we need to do his little nose. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just hit duplicate again. 
and I'm going to pull this back over and I'm going to contour him. And this time we're going to get rid of everything except bring back his little nose. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to need to click all the little pieces again of his eyes and all these little pieces. And again, this can be kind of difficult if Cricut Design Space is being a little bit weird about where it wants to actually allow you to click. So I just want to make sure everything here is selected. And when we go back, we should have his mouth. Now I did miss a little piece of his eye again. So I'm going to just contour that out again. Again, I have a video that shows you this. So don't feel like you're going to be intimidated because all you need to do is just go back and watch that video. So this is going to be a little bit lighter blue color just to kind of differentiate his mouth. And there we go. We have our Eeyore. He's completely done, easy to do. If you wanted to do little white eye dots, you could, but I'm just going to leave them blue. Now we do need to resize this based on the center of where we're putting this because this is going to be the center for a bow. I've had a lot of people ask me how to make these little bow centers for Mickey ears. So this is just showing you how to do that. So I'm just going to reduce his size. I don't usually like to go a whole lot bigger than like three and a half inches. Um, anything bigger usually looks a little too big in the center, but you'll want to measure and see kind of what size you want to make this. So now that we've gotten all of our pieces parts and they're good to go, you'll see you have a darker blue, a lighter blue, and then pink, and then we have black. The black is going to be cut on felt and the blues and pink will be cut on HTV. So you'll need to make sure that you mirror these pieces. So what I'll just do is I'm going to select everything, go to the top and click flip horizontal. It's just easier to remember to mirror them that way. It doesn't totally matter since this isn't words, but if you want your Eeyore to face in a specific way, you'll want to mirror them. Go ahead and click make it and I'm going to show you all your pieces. I am using the Maker 3, so I need to select on matte, and you'll see here that we are going to cut our felt first, then we have our pink, the light blue, and the dark blue. This is a perfect project for scraps, so it's really easy to do. So go ahead and click continue, and because we're cutting this first section on felt, I'm going to click browse all materials, and I want to search for the word felt. Now for this one, I do find that the felt wool bonded really works pretty well for all the felt that I have. and you're going to want to try different settings. So if this isn't a setting that works for you, you'll want to try some other things. I actually prefer to cut with the rotary blade when I'm using felt. So sometimes I'll just see kind of which one is going to just automatically let me use my rotary blade. So felt acrylic fabric, we'll try that one and see how it goes. I think it'll be fine. This isn't really thick felt. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is go cut the three pieces of HTV. So I'll take you over to the machine and show you guys how we're going to cut this. We are going to use a fabric grip mat for this and, and the rotary blade, which this is only for the maker. You can do this on the Explore though. You would just need to use your fine point blade. So what I did is I just cut a piece of felt. It doesn't have to be exact. This was just so it wasn't like a big piece on my mat. And then I'm gonna put it in this corner, which you can see I cut other things on here. So I wanted to make sure I put it in the other corner. But I'll show you really quick how easy this is to load your rotary blade. Just open the clamp for B, pull out your fine point blade, and then line up the gold gears to the gold gears in the machine, and close clamp B. Then all you'll need to do is to go ahead and insert your mat. Go ahead and push this in. Now I do have transfer tape stuck to this sticky side up. It helps kind of protect your mat from a lot of the fluff that gets on your fabric grip mat. It's just one of those little things that I find works really well when I'm doing my fabric and things. So it's super helpful. So it's going to measure and then it's going to check our tool here and then it's going to cut out the outline for our Eeyore. Once that's done, go ahead and unload it and you can pull it off of your mat. You're going to want to go slow because these are pretty small and they do have some little details. So you'll want to take it slow and then when you peel this off, You'll also want to go slow, making sure of any like small pieces. And there is the outline. So we're not going to use the fabric grip mat for the next part, but I like to leave my transfer tape on my mat. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're going to go do the next task. Three things we're cutting, I'll use everyday iron on, so it's perfect. And we're going to go ahead and load it. And then we'll let this cut. I do need to make sure I change out my blade. It's going to run away from me. That's okay. Some 
totally forgot to change my blade, no big deal. Just do it on its movement and then it'll check to make sure the right blade is in place. I went ahead and weeded everything just using my pin pen and we're going to use the Easy Press Mini. This is the best way to do this, honestly. It's super easy with the Easy Press Mini, but I do recommend having a piece of parchment paper to lay over your HTV. This protects the HTV from any of the residual heat. So I'm gonna start with the big piece first and all I'm gonna do is line it up on the felt where it goes. I'm gonna slide these guys off the mat just so they don't accidentally get pressed. And I'm just going to kind of move this around and see where he fits. That looks pretty even. Yes, that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, cover that with the parchment paper and then I'm gonna use my Easy Press Mini and I'm gonna press down. I use a pretty good amount of pressure. You don't need a ton with felt. HTV really does like to stick to felt pretty well. Um, so I go ahead and I give one side some good pressure with the Easy Press Mini. And then I go ahead and I move over to the other spot that I didn't get. I do usually about 15 seconds each side, so I'm just using my camera's countdown to tell me about when 15 seconds is. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'm just gonna make sure I got his ear over here because I feel like I didn't quite get his ear. So now what we're gonna do is we'll check the adhesion. Um, so you can peel this warm, and you're gonna go slow because you wanna make sure that Everything's stuck. Like I can see his little footy. I must have missed it. He's got that little tiny piece down here. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I press that little teeny tiny piece all by itself. And I'm just using the tip of the iron on that. And then I'm going to go from this direction this time and just make sure everything this way stuck. Yep. And now his little foot stuck. So there's this layer. Now the next one we can actually do the last two layers, so his little mouth part and his ears at the same time because they're not going to be under each other. And you can always trim this up a little bit if you need to, like just to be sure that it's not going to go under the pink, I'm just going to trim a little bit off. So then I'm going to line this up, this is his little mouth, get that stuck down and then we'll do the little pinks for his ears. Slide that up a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, pretty satisfied with that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna just do each of his pieces. So we'll do his ears. Now I do have this set to the medium setting on my Easy Press. That seems to work perfectly for Easy Weed. And so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the pink and then peel off this blue part. And then you can give him another quick like run over with the uh, little iron if you'd like to, because he's got a little crinkle in him from the pressing. So all I do is I just give him a quick little like iron, just like you would iron a shirt, just gives him a little bit more of a flat surface. And there he is, he's done. Like though this is a lot lighter than doing something like this with like plastic or if you were gonna use like those bead charms and you can make these really, really small, which is great, but this is like a perfect little guy that you could use on a Mickey ear. You could pretty much use this anywhere that you wanted to and it's just a felt little character. This was so easy to do, really, really simple. I'll link all the materials used down below. I will also link below the video that shows you how to make these multi-layered SVG designs in Cricut Design Space, the slower version. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in those comments down below. Tell me who your favorite little Disney character is and tell me who you would make a little felt creature out of. This is so fun and I really feel like this could be used in a lot of different ways. You could double side him and make him into a keychain. So there's lots that you can do with these. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting. <music>